Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Today I'm bringing you some sweaty synaptic K-Bar gameplay on the map Frost. And for this triad setup that I'm using, I'm using Ghost, Dexterity, Dead Silence, no Scavenger. So I'm just going to use the Rewind just to get my ammo back, replenish my ammo. And I'm using the K-Bar of course with the Elo Sight. Grip, quick throw, and long barrel. Now, this is not my elite K bar setup. This is more of a loadout that I would use when playing competitive MLG game battles. In fact, the only thing different that I would use, I would not use Ghost in competitive, that is banned obviously. And of course, a synaptic is banned as well for very good reasons. And I do agree with those reasons as well. I do believe the synaptic rig definitely gives one an advantage. Especially in competitive play, it definitely sponges the time. Do I think the hitboxes are the same as other characters? Yes, yes I do. But I do think because of the shape and size of the synaptic, the skinny butt as you would call it, or better known as, it creates an advantage over the other rigs. Especially behind head glitches or if they're high up in the air, which they are because obviously the professionals when they're using the skinny butt, they're going to make full use of the skinny butt, right? So they're going to be flying through the air. And I do agree that the synaptic rig, the hit detection at times can be flawed on that character. I have experienced it and the professional players experience it as well. And I'm telling you there definitely is something to it. It's not only due to the size of the character, the shape of the character, as you would like to say that's causing it. The synaptic rig definitely sponges at times. And I know some YouTubers have done tests in private matches. Well, that's under controlled conditions, very controlled conditions. When you're playing online, especially online competitive play, where the servers or the host is not that great as well. And you have, you mix in that with a lot of sweaty players and sweaty characters and a lot of fast paced action going on. Things can change, things can get flawed and things do change in fact it doesn't matter what the stats say sometimes it is vulnerable to getting those flaws in the actual real environment and that is the difference you often find these flaws in real working environment if you just test everything on the stable consistent conditions then you won't find these things these extra flaws in fact but this is the nature of the beast in online multiplayer games it can happen like that but i definitely think the synaptic character gives you an advantage and creates an advantage to other synaptic players as well they sponge a lot and of course the shape and the size of the rig itself creates an advantage i do believe the size of the hitboxes are the same though you can see how I'm using the synaptic character to my advantage. I keep jumping, I keep it in the air and I'm just using the advanced movement to my advantage because I'm using propulsion, right? I'm using propulsion and rewind in case anyone's new and watching this and he got absolutely destroyed. And the best players in the game, they're either using the synaptic rig or the FTL with phase shift and perception. The Merc rig is a wannabe tryhard rig. But it's definitely between the synaptic rig and the FTL rig. They're both very powerful rigs and you can do a lot of damage with them. And watch as how I just destroy these enemies. They have no chance. It can be quite annoying though to play against a tryhard synaptic rig user. It's, in fact, it's very annoying. They're just like jumping mosquitoes that you just want to swat. Now watch your spawn system in work there. Do you see all of them spawn? That's a main spawn area back there. You can see it with advanced UAV up. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to come around like this pre-aim, take him out and jump across. Notice how I jumped to go in there first and I did just they have no chance. Once I'm in full motion like this, you can see I can use these sweaty setups as well and just absolutely destroy once given. But, you know, I don't like doing it too much because it can be annoying and I appreciate that. And you see it everywhere. You see all on YouTube, all of these synaptic users, it can get repetitive. So that's why I tend to stay away from the synaptic rig. I do use it at times though, just to change it up a bit. And this epic advanced UAV is definitely worth the savage to unlock it. I'm very close to my nuke here, so I take him out. I'm just pre-aiming. I don't want to push it, I want to recover first. Because Murphy's Law, you can't get melted, right? And look, one more kill, pre-aim, pre-fire, boom. See, I almost got killed though, so you have to be very careful. But pre-firing and pre-aiming worked there. I thankfully got the nuke. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do leave a like if you did. 
Please share the videos if you want to see me grow. I would definitely appreciate that. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.